New details tonight to federal agents worked with local law enforcement to round up nearly 40 people accused of very serious crimes, including drug trafficking, money laundering, and firearms offenses. Agents say a cartel out of Mexico had major involvement in bringing meth to multiple counties in our area. Way 31 Sydney Martin joins us live after learning some suspects are still on the loose. Sydney. Naja, tonight U.S. Marshals are looking for two men. Their names are Eric Shane Hutchins and Quentin Cortez Clay. Two men federal agents tell me took off and escaped during last week's roundup. The Drug Enforcement Agency said agents seized about 80 pounds of meth during the operation, but the CJNG cartel could have supplied any amount that was needed to the area. Investigators said meth is the number one drug problem in Alabama. And just last month, the Department of Justice shared photos of U.S. Attorney Jay Town, along with the Madison County Sheriff Kevin Turner and Madison County District Attorney Rob Broussard, when they traveled to Sinaloa, Mexico. They got a firsthand look at the amount of narcotics that were destined to come to the United States and North Alabama. The Department of Justice called the CJNG cartel an offshoot of the Sinaloa cartel, and the gangsters used the U.S. Postal Service to mail meth, something law enforcement is working to stop. My message to anybody that's dealing drugs, any felon in possession of a handgun, anybody that's doing both, uh, you're going to federal prison. And if you go to state prison first, there'll be a deputy U.S. Marshal waiting for you when you get out of state prison to take you to federal prison. Federal agents seized more than $125,000 and more than 1,000 drugs. The seized, they seized money. The seized money may eventually go to the agencies who were able to get the suspects off the street. Now, Tan also shared with me today all 38 people are facing federal charges, more than 150 federal charges in total. Some of the charges carry a life sentence um, in federal prison, which means there's no possibility of parole. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News.